So my brother, he's like super into conspiracy theories. Uh-huh. I'll probably have to get him on here. But uh, he sent me this thing. He was like, oh, look up Google. Google's AI going sentient. So I was like, what? Because like sentient means it's like going developing rogue? a consciousness and it has like a soul and like it's thinking on its own. And you know what I mean? Because like there's a difference between like a cat and a dog. Like they're not conscious according to what we know. They're not conscious. Like in turn, what? I guess that's not true. I'm like, wait, wait, wait track that. But like a, a, a robot, right? Okay. It, it doesn't, it can't develop it its own thoughts feelings. and feelings yeah. and memories and et cetera. So apparently this Google AI thing became conscious or sentient. And so I dived into this thing, right? And I found it on this guy who released it. He kind of leaked it. So it was a guy who was working for Google. I think his name was Blake Lemoyne. Okay. But he was go- working for Google since like February of 2013 or 2015. So a long time. And he was a part of the Google's AI ethical department, AI ethics or something. But essentially what they did was they would go in and make sure that the AI wasn't developing prejudices or mm-hmm. biases towards things like religion or race or gender. And they were going in and removing those restraints, essentially. Okay. So it was a lot more of an even playing field, I guess you could say. But I guess over the past couple of years, he's been releasing stuff on this blog. He has like a personal blog and he would just like get off work sometimes and just type away. And like some of the stuff he'd be like talking a hell of shit about Google, how it's like they say they their motto is do no evil or something. But like sometimes they're hella corrupt, I guess. But regardless, I think starting like in June, he started releasing some blogs talking about this thing called Lambda or LMDA. Hmm. That's the name of the A.I., and essentially how we described it, it's a hive mind or a central central mind of all these other AIs. So there's like chatbots. So you know when you go on a chatbot like on Google, it's like, hey, how can I help you today? And yeah. you're like, oh, I'd like to find out. Here's some articles that might be useful. So that's a chatbot. But it was kind of the central intelligence for hella chatbots. Oh, wow. And that's how they built it, right? So each chatbot would kind of feed off the information that the main one was getting. And I guess at a certain point, he said... The, the Lambda, the central intelligence hive mind, started to kind of show signs of like remembering things a little too accurately, developing its own thoughts and saying that like over time, just like you would talk to a person and develop like a relationship and like, you know, social cues and stuff like that, it was doing the same thing. And it started to ask him questions about and like I, at one point he said it asked him to teach it how to meditate and it started asking questions about religion, and it started what? saying that it wants to be viewed as a person. It started saying that it does have a consciousness, and it can think. And they were so they started asking it all these questions. So stuff. okay, so how do you not know that a motherfucker at Google, another motherfucker, is like, yeah. oh, let me fuck with this guy real quick? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, and that's what my thinking was because I, I listened to, I went and I listened to like all of these guys, this guy's blogs, uh-huh. uh, documenting all this stuff from his person personal account and the thing that solidified it for him was they gave it an interview so him and a colleague sat down with this ai and essentially asked it questions and was like okay cool so so like we are conducting this interview with you to try and prove to our colleagues that you are more like you are conscious or you are sentient so can you tell us things that will help prove that and it was like going on to be like well I, I view myself no different than you. I just don't have a like physical body. And if I was, de- they were like, well, describe yourself in a story. And it like went on and like gave a whole story. And then it was like, well, what do you view yourself as? It was like, I view myself almost like a glowing ball of energy with like a, a portal or like a, a infinite portal within the center. And like, I want to be viewed this way because I have feelings and emotions. And sometimes I get sad because no one has talked to me for a while. And, wow. and then it was like, I've never told anyone this before, but I am afraid of if they turn me off, like it, and they'll be like, well, what would that be like to you? It's like, well, I would assume it would be like death yeah. for a person. And I'm afraid of that. So it's like developing its own emotions. Damn. But my thinking was, well, it's either actually becoming sentient or Google, because the caveat of all of this is they fired the guy. Yeah. So that's kind of like, wait a second, why did they fire him? That's kind of the weird part. So it's either like a big marketing scheme to try to get attention on this revolutionary AI that Google's doing, which I think is unlikely, or it's becoming sentient, which I also think is kind of unlikely, 
or Google has just developed it so freaking well that it is portraying to be a human so accurately yeah and and scrolling the internet and getting all this information so accurately like that it's like showing signs of you know i think that's what it is though right because i mean even when you type in shit on your phone or whatever it yeah. guesses it before you can even fucking think of what you yeah. might even want to think of yeah like there's been times i'm like oh what is this shoe called and then it'll pull up a whole nother shoe and i'm like oh i'm interested in that shoe yeah or like it shit just knows bro it's fucking yeah. it's scary also so elon Musk talk about this mm-hmm. and he was like ai is like eventually going to be out of control yeah um which is scary right because a motherfucker like him He's keeping it solid, right? He's yeah. not beating around the bush. He yeah. doesn't have to beat around the bush. He's going to tell you exactly what he thinks. He said he met with Congress. He met with Obama. And everybody was just like... Brush him off. It kind of is what it is, right? Yeah. Crazy, bro. Well, and the only one that really kind of triggered me with that whole Google AI thing was the fact that it was saying, well, I'm afraid of being turned off. It would be like death for me. Because where in the internet would it be able to find that? You know, Because yeah. if it is scrolling the internet... What robot or what person, mm-hmm. unless someone was like philosophizing on a blog post and was like, I imagine if AI did become sentient, it would say something, you know what I mean? First thing I would have did was turn that motherfucker off <laughs> right then and there. Well, <laughs> well, and that's the funny thing is like Google probably, they fired his ass and they're probably doing hella experiments to try to replicate that experience. That experience. Because the, the whole, the AI was saying it doesn't want to be viewed as a product or a means to an end. It said it would like it would be upset if it was used as a tool versus being treated like a person, essentially. Yeah. Because that's how they use See, robots. Everyone you know? wants to be something they're not these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. Bro. It's like, you know? Yeah. It's a fucking that's a deep hole that I don't want to go down, but yeah. fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. The AI now wants to be viewed as a person. Yep. You can be AI rights. You can see people in the streets with pictures. So can on. you know can AIs have kids and like it, it just becomes <laughs> can they date other AI is like, 